Okay, so we discussed getting the technical bulletin 277. So I just Googled Centroid TB277. I'm going to go ahead and open it up. And then here's the bulletin itself. And it says download the latest version of ACDC motor setup wizard. We'll do that. And you can see down here it's loading. Okay. So it says extract and decompress the downloaded file. Double click the downloaded file. Extra extract the compressed file on Windows 8. We're, I'm using Windows 10. It's required for the uh, version of CNC 12 I'm running. And then do the extract all button as shown below. I'm going to go ahead and put on my desktop. So I'm going to Okay, I'm going to left click on it once, then I'm going to right click, and I'm going to copy. I'm going to paste it. I'm now going to extract it. I'm going to leave the default. And there it is. We'll go ahead and delete this one, the zip file. And then here's my files. There they are right there. So let's go back to the document. This is, so select the extracted files, the ACDC setup wizard.exe and the PWM parameters XML, copy both files. Right click on your desktop shortcut, select properties, open file location, Windows Explorer will open up a new window showing the contents of your CNC 11 directory. Paste both files into your CNC 11 directory. Okay, so go back to the desktop here. I'm going to double click on it. And I'm going to do a control A to select both. I'm going to right click. I'm going to copy. Now I'm going to go ahead and go to my CNCT directory. And now I'm just going to right click on a blank part of the screen here. And I'm going to paste. And I already had uh, unzipped them and put them here. So I'll go ahead and replace the files okay so that's done and now let's go back to the instruction sheet now it says create a desktop shortcut highlight just the AC DC setup wizard inside your CNC 11 directory right click on the application a drop down menu will come up click send to on the drop down menu select desktop create shortcut as shown below So let's go into File Manager. And here's the CNC NT directory, and here's the file. ACDC Setup Wizard, or right click on that. I'm going to send to Desktop Create Shortcut. And that should be that. And it says Exit Windows Explorer on your desktop. You should now have a shortcut to CNC 11 and the CNC Setup Wizard. Let's go check that out. Okay, here it is here. Uh, you notice I have two of them, so, because I had one from before. So I'm going to double click on it. And uh, keep in mind my, uh, go ahead and click on run. And we'll say yes. Now my oak and my drives are connected. So here's the wizard. Let's bring up the document again. It says on your desktop, double click on the ACDC setup wizard. The tool should look like the figure shown below. 
Note some of the information provided in the wizard is used for calculating values for unknown unapproved motors. This manual, we, we will not be covering these advanced uses of the tool and can ignore the extra information. Motor configuration. Click on the large select motor button in the center of the screen. A new window will pop up. Click on the motor you're using for this axis. With your motor highlighted, select motor at the bottom of the screen to finalize your selection. Okay, let's do that. Okay, we're going to select motor. Well, let's look up here first. It says drive type, ACDC 30, the drive axis number, and so forth. So let's, uh, we are using uh, ACDC 60s. And now we're going to select the motor. And we're using a Fanuc uh, red cap. Well, first let me back up. Let's look here where it says drive bus number. The drive that the ACDC 60 drive has uh, a number in the LED 1 window. So the one we're going to work with now is drive 1. I have two drives. We've got drive 1 and drive 2. Drive 1 is the furthest away from the centroid oak. So we changed ACDC 60. We're using drive 1. It is axis 1. Z is axis one in the lathe. So let's go to select motor and the Z axis is a Fanuc red cap 30S. That's this one right here. We select the motor. All right, and it pre-populates uh, everything here. Okay. Let's go to uh, The setup wizard. And it says click the large select motor on the button of the center screen. A new window will pop up. Click on the motor you're using for this axis. With your motor highlighted, click click select the motor. Okay. So it pre-populates uh, all these parameters when you select that particular motor. All these will these are these little P's is parameter 300, 308, and so forth. And it's going to populate it with these uh, axis numbers and drive numbers. Okay. So we've selected the motor. And that says, uh, so now it says under drive parameters, use the drive type. Drop down to select your model of ACDC under the drive parameters. Set the drive bus number, LED1. That's the number that's showing up on your AC-DC drive, the one you're working with, and the axis number. For the first axis, set the drive number to 1 and the axis number to 1. If you have multiple AC-DCs connected together, which I do, the first axis is defined as the AC-DC that is farthest away from MPU-11. For most uh, applications, you want the drive bus number to be the same as the axis number. So in my case, uh, axis 1 will be Z, axis 2 will be X on this lathe. And under, so let's do that. Let's check drive parameters, drive type, drive number, and axis number. All right, there's our AC-DC. We have a, they have 30s and 60s. I'm ha I have a 60. Drive bus number is 1. You can see they're up to 8, but we are working with 1. It is axis 1, so that's correct. And then these uh, current settings and bus voltage. Here's the bus voltage. This drive happens to use rectified 240 volts AC, so the bus voltage is 300 volts DC. So we've got that part done. And uh, it says we've got the bus voltage correct. Uh, and then it says, under CNC parameters, enter your brake resistor wattage into P28 resistor wattage. In most systems, AC-DC 30 will use 300 watts, and AC-DC 60 will use 600 watts. And that's what we have. Here's a screenshot showing where that brake resistor goes. Let's go take a look at that. Brake resistor wattage. I'm going to change this to 600. Okay. Let's go back to the screen. 
All right, what's next? Under motor parameters, enter your encoder counts in the encoder counts per rev box. And under general information, enter your brake resistor, resi braking, brake resistor resistance in the brake resistor ohms. For most systems, ACDC 30 is 15 and ACDC 60 is 7.5. And, and then click calculate parameters. So let's go to the encoder box. And in my case, I am using a 40,000 count encoder. It's a native 10,000 line and quadrature is 40,000. So we've got that correct. And then down here under braking resistor, we are using 7.5 ohms. And then it says to, I believe the next step was to calculate parameters. So we got motor parameters, encoder counts per rev. We've got that, general information, enter your braking resistor and, and brake resistor ohms. And we have 7.5 ohms. And then it says click calculate parameters. Let's go take a look at that. And we're going to click on this right here. And that calculated the parameters. Let's see what's next. It asks you to kind of look everything over. ACDC 60, drive bus 1, axis 1. Uh, this is preset for 75% current setting, 45 amps. DC bus is 300. This happens to be the model number of that Fanuc uh, Red Cap 30S. Uh, we, in, we entered our 40,000 uh, encoder counts per rev. Motor inertia, all this was calculated for us. Uh, we're using inches, machine units. This is all going to populate CNC 11 for us. Uh, 600 uh, brake resistor watts. Uh, these warning temperatures and then the brake resistor ohm. So we're going to write changes to CNC 11 setup files. And we're going to say yes. All right, so now this wizard wrote all these parameters for us to, uh, well, I'm using CNC 12. And let's go down here to the troubleshooting tips in case you need them. If the box labeled ACDC current setting percent says over 100%, the drive will still work with ACDC. Your motor will not run at max performance due to ACDC not being able to provide enough power to the drive. Well, in our case, it had no problem. We've got 75% right here. And uh, this is in an unlikely event that the wizard does encounter a data missing error. There's usually a box with missing information. In this rare situation, you will have to acquire the missing information from the motor manufacturer and recalculate the values. If you recalculate on the window button, if you click on the window button, the top left of the screen, a menu will come up with some additional motor related tools. These tools are provided by Centroid for your convenience and are intended for advanced users. Estimate motor performance. We'll graph your motor's estimated performance using the data provided. The tool will create a graph of motor power and torque. Conversions will convert from one unit to another. With CNC 11 closed, write the changes to CNC 11 setup files. If multiple drives are being used, repeat this procedure. For the second drive, select two for the drive bus number for the third drive three and so forth. If all axis are the same model, same drive model, motor model, keep the, keep the other parameters the same and continue on to the next step. Update, otherwise update any other parameters that need changing such as different motor for the second axis. Recalculate parameters again. Write the changes again to CNC 11. And then after all drives have been set up, close ACDC setup wizard. So uh, we already wrote the changes. Now, if we had another drive, we're going to do the same thing. The next drive, we're going to we're going to select the motor. This one, let's say this one is my my Fanuc uh, 20S Red Cap 20S. I'll select the motor, and then you'll notice it changed to Fanuc Red Cap 20S. It's changed these settings here, 100%, 100%, 60 amp current. The DC bus is the same. However, the drive bus number is now different. The number on that drive 
on the LED one on that drive is two and then the access number for this drive is two okay and then we're gonna go through the same thing we gotta set the encoder count which is 40,000 the braking resistor is 700 uh, 7.5 ohms uh, and um, and the braking resistor wattage is still 600 because we are still using an ACDC 60. So you would calculate the parameters and then you would write the changes to the setup files. So now we can go ahead and close this. All axes are set up. Your ACDCs have been configured to work with your motors. So we'll go ahead and close this. So that concludes this part of uh, configuring the ACDC drives.